Okay, so Architect finished <coughs> installing the framework and installing the Touch framework, and it comes up to the screen. Uh, I've had Architect already before installed on here, so it knows about some projects I have, I guess, for the registry keys. <coughs> uh, if I remember correctly, it should have, and I uninstalled it before I did it, it should ask you for your username and password for the forum, and it should use that. Um, what we're going to do is we're just going to create a new project, and you can do ext whatever version you want we'll go 5 one and or you could do touch if you wanted to do touch application <coughs> 2.4 is out uh, we're gonna do ext we're gonna do desktop app we won't get into mobile apps in this course I may have another course for that touch is very similar a little bit different it's just you can see that it's it uses the UI stuff from uh, it'll look like an iPhone or an Android device so we'll do ext.js and we're, there's some examples and some layouts if you want to use layouts so we're just going to go basic empty project and we're going to create and it's going to create us a new project <clears throat> now it's important to note that you now have in your C folder a www folder so this is where your Apache server is serving everything out of so I, okay, I didn't leave my folder, that's why this stuff is still there. So here's some websites I had already worked on. Um, so what we're going to do, let's just take, <clears throat> so we got a blank slate. Here's all your toolbars over here. If you want to look at forms, look at form stuff. You look at grids, you can look at grid stuff. If you're not sure where something is, you can always go to default. And just type something like tool in. And there's my tool. Uh, you will have to X out of things. Um, here is your project inspector. This is where all your views and your stores and your models and everything will go. Uh, and then here are the properties for everything. So if I go down to my th crisp theme, I've got a configuration for this. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then also, let's, let's go ahead and just get started to do something. So let's select our view. And we have no, nothing in our views. So we're going to go to containers. And the first thing you're always going to want to do is just double click and create a viewport. There we go. So now we actually have something for the user to look at. And we have this tool, this little gear here. So you can select different layouts. And we'll go through some of these layouts like HBox and VBox and uh, Fit and Border. But we won't really cover Card. Card's great for Cinch Touch for phones. Um, and we're not going to create any kind of login. That's that's kind of out of the scope. I just want to get you go through all the different parts of Architect, how you can use it, and how you can find stuff. So let's just go ahead and go to my views again, and oh, well, let's go to viewport, and let's just put a title on it. Okay, we don't have a title on that guy. That's cool. Uh, we're going to go to over here, and we'll go back to view. So as long as you have something selected here, you can just double click here. And it will add a toolbar. And in that toolbar, we're going to add, go to forms and add a button. And we're going to double click on that button. And we're going to say bugs. So we're going to create a bug tracking application. So here we're going to add. And we're going to click on this new menu. To select him, let's click him over here, and then here we'll go over here and filter by text. So you can also lock in your selection, so no matter what you're on, it's going to be looking for text. So there's no text there. There's text here, and we're going to say add category. And let's go back and change this guy to um, edit. How about that? So let's go ahead and hit Control S and save it. Now it's going to ask you where do you want to save it. So we always want to save it in a www folder. So we're going to call this bug tracker. And we want to give the app name. So we're just going to call this bugs. And we're going to use this throughout the whole entire application. This is going to be a namespace. Everything is going to be nested. 
you can have bugs.view dot main view and bugs dot store dot store one so we're saving that would you like to scan your project sure why not so we're successfully saved so if we're gonna go down here and look at www folder we now have bug tracker and architect has already added an app folder metadata resources a dot architect if you can see hidden files on your computer an app.js a bug tracker and an index.html which is the root so if we go over here to our local host 8080 that's our port and we get a bug tracker we should see our new application once it loads and we have this let's do control shift I and go to console so we have no errors let's just go ahead and come back over to bug tracker and hit save again and we have a view toolbar viewport which is this guy and he has a toolbar on him refresh the view Oh, okay, it does not. Alright, so I made the mistake of putting the toolbar underneath the views. It's not in the viewport, so that's why we don't see anything. So we're going to drag him down. Cannot be undone. Would you like to copy it, move it, or link it? I want to move it. Okay, so now if I go to my tool, I don't have a toolbar up here, it's over here in this guy. And now if I'm on my viewport and I say view, I can see it. So let's save that. And let's go back over here and rebuild our application. Voila. So you have added, built your first application, and now let's start adding some content and getting set up with the database.